In the last video, we prepared the blank, got the top and bottom smooth, and kind of roughed out the shape that we wanted. In this video, we're finalizing the shape and getting it in as close as we can. We started off by taping a piece of paper to the center of the board. That way, the shape that we have on one side can be flipped over and transferred to the other side easily. So that I'd have a good idea of the rough shape that we were working with, I creased the paper along the edge of the board. Flipping it over to the other side, I creased it again. I then cut off to the inside crease so that I'd have the smallest of either side on the paper. Using what's called a batten, which is just a flexible piece of stock, we made a bend and then traced along it so that we could have a smooth shape from, from nose to tail. And this is the shape that we ended up with. I then cut the shape out along the Sharpie mark. Using a ruler to keep the paper flat against the board, I then trace around the shape of the paper so that I could transfer it to the board. This time, instead of trying to cut right on the line, which didn't work out so well in the past, I'm cutting off about half an inch away from the line, and then I will plane to, to the line so that we can get our final shape correct. I've got plenty of material on the outside of the line, just about all the way around the board. A lot of guys making boards on YouTube have special stands I just put down a couple pieces of foam on the ground so that the edge of the board wouldn't get wrecked and lean it up against the sawhorse. And since there's quite a bit of material to remove here, I'm using the planer to take it down to the line. Also, since I'm only taking four inches wide, it's pre pretty easy to get a pretty good result here with the planer. And here I am, plane down to the line. Pretty good results. The only trouble, and I don't think you could see it too well in the video, is that when I roughed out the initial shape, I tried to cut too close to the line, and as I went around the corners, the blade bent in. So, although I'm to the line on the top, I've got divots in the bottom, and they're way too deep. So I pulled out my template, taped it to the center again, moved my line in a bit, recut, and reshaped. Now using a square to tee off the back so it's square to the center line of the board. And now we have a shape that I'm happy with. In the next video, we'll start working on the rails.